Hello and welcome to Colin's Time to Bake. Today I'm making Nigella Lawson's Honey Chocolate Cake. I'm also using a very special ingredient which is this Live from the Hive honey made on the roof of the printworks by the bees that are kept up there and uh, helped by Hard Rock Cafe in Manchester as well. The money from each of these jars goes to the Booth Centre and Forever Manchester, both very local charities. The logo as well has been designed by Manxi, who is a local artist who does uh, random acts of art around the city, which is pretty cool. So I think that's pretty exciting that I get a chance to use this in my bake today. Without further ado, let's just get started. First you need 100 grams of dark chocolate, which you need to melt. You can either do this in the microwave like I'm doing or you can do it over a pan of hot water. Then put your oven on to 180 degrees. Next get 275 grams of light brown muscovado sugar and then beat in 225 grams of soft butter. You need to do this until this is light and airy. You need to add your 125 grams of runny honey. I of course am using the live from the hive Manchester honey and mix this in with the butter and the sugar. Next get 200 grams of plain flour and then using a tablespoon from this put that into the mix along with one egg then beat in then do the same again so one tablespoon and another egg and beat in again. Add your melted chocolate. Finally add the rest of the plain flour with one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. Mix all this together Add one tablespoon of cocoa powder, sieve it in so there's no lumps. Now add 250 milliliters of boiling water, but add it in gradually, stirring in and mixing. This is going to make a lovely runny batter. Pour the batter into a pre-lined greased 23 centimeter cake tin. Once you put it into the cake tin, you need to put it into the oven for an hour and a half, but you need to check it after 45 minutes. Once you've done that, um, see if it's rising and if it starts to look a little brown on top, put some tin foil on there and that'll slow down the, the browning over the top and give it an even bake all the way through. Then check every 15 minutes until it's ready. For the glaze you need 60 millilitres of water and 125 millilitres of the runny honey. Again, I'm using the live from the hive honey, however you guys can use whichever honey you wish. Put the water and the honey together in a saucepan and bring to the boil. Once this has happened, take it off the heat, then add 175 grams of dark chocolate. Once the chocolate's in, stir until it melts, and then whisk until smooth. Then add 75 grams of icing sugar, and whisk again until everything is combined and smooth. Once the skewer or knife comes out clean, your cake is ready to take out the oven. Leave this on a wire cooling rack until it's completely cooled all the way through. For your presentation, Whatever stand or cake thing or plate that you're using to present your cake, make sure that you put four strips of greaseproof paper down. This will ensure you've got a lovely clean plate or stand to present your cake on once you've put the glaze on. Once the cake has cooled, turn over onto your presentation plate with the greaseproof paper on there. Then slowly pour the glaze over the top, making sure to spread evenly around the outside. Be careful in case the edges crumble. Don't forget to keep behind some of the glaze because you need it for decorating the bees. Once it's all evenly covered, move to the side and leave it to cool and set. Nigella says it takes about an hour so make sure you have left enough time for this to set. Here comes the creative part. Now you need 25 grams of marzipan and some flaked almonds. Or in my case, 25 grams of icing sugar with yellow food colouring. Next, very carefully decorate your bees by using the rest of the glaze that you have left. Uh, to make stripes and then faces on there. Stick in flaked almonds for the wings and then make sure they're on some cocktail sticks just for presentation. Very carefully take off the grease proof paper from the bottom and thus leaving a nice clean plate for you to present on. Take your bees and decorate however you wish. Slice and serve. So now it's time for the taste test. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm, -hmm, mm. Nigella, you genius. So there you have it, Nigella Lawson's honey chocolate cake. It's delicious, it's so good. If you'd like to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and then of course you can click the big red subscribe button to see all my other videos and bakes that I have done. Thank you very much to everyone at Hard Rock Cafe Manchester and the Printworks for letting me purchase the Live from the Hive uh, honey which the money of course went to the proceeds of the Booth Centre and Forever Manchester. Thank you very much for watching, my name is Colin, this is Colin's Time to Bake. Bye bye.